Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I will be diving into something which is very important for anyone who want to break into the tech industry or those who want to make a switch from service based companies or startups to big product based MNCs. This is about coding interviews. This video is made for a specific audience in mind. If you are someone who don't know anything about the interview process in product based MNCs or if you know about the interview process but you want to get the right resources so that you can get yourself prepared for this challenge, then you are at the right place. First, let me tell you about myself. My name is Swati Jha and I'm working as a software engineer at Samsung. Right after the college, I landed into TCS, worked there for six months and then I switched from TCS to Samsung where I'm working right now. I have been through this journey myself from my first coding interview at TCS to gaining confidence and landing at my current position now, I understand what are the challenges which you might be facing and how, it, and how much it is important to get well prepared for interviews. Throughout this video, I will be sharing my insights, some of the resources and strategies which helped me to succeed in the coding interviews. If you are wondering what this coding interview process is like, what are the different type of rounds which you should expect, and what are different resources which you need to prepare for each round. You are right the right place. Just watch this video till the end and I will clear all your doubts regarding this. So let's start. The first round which you should expect is the DSA round. This will be a 45 minute round in which you will be expected to solve one or two coding problems. If you are asked only one coding problem, then you will be asked different follow ups in the same problem. Otherwise, you might be asked to solve two different problems in the 45 minutes of duration. In this round, first you will have to explain your approach to the interviewer and when he is satisfied, he will first ask you to optimize your approach and finally when he is satisfied with the, your final optimized approach, then you will be expected to write the entire code for the problem. There are different websites available in which you can practice coding problems and get yourself ready for this round. These are HackerRank, InterviewBit and my personal favorite is LeetCode. LeetCode has a great set of questions and you can filter the question based on difficulty level, easy, medium and hard. So I personally prefer LeetCode for coding interview preparation. You can check out the other websites also. Definitely we don't like reading books but for this round I will also recommend one book here. This book is Cracking the Coding Interview. This book will definitely help you a lot in preparing for DSA round. So just check that out. For DSA round, I will recommend you should definitely give mock interviews so that you feel confident in your problem solving skills. There are many websites, free websites available where you can give these mock interviews. I will make a separate video for that. But this video is all about the coding interview rounds and resources for each of the round. So moving on to the next round. The second round is low level design round. In this round, you will be expected to know OOPS concepts, solid principles, some design patterns and you may also be expected to design the classes and uh, how different classes will interact with each other for an entire application. If you are a fresher and giving this interview, then you will be expected to know about OOPS concepts, solid principles and some basic design patterns like singleton pattern, factory and abstract factory pattern, observer pattern, decorator pattern but you will not be asked questions on advanced design patterns. But if you have experience of one or two years, then definitely you would be expected to know about some advanced design patterns also. And you may also be expected to make UML diagrams or write different classes and uh, how the, these classes will interact, relationship between them, methods in each of these classes. So you may expect a proper low level design round if you have one or two years of experience. I want to tell you here that there are two different types of rounds in low level design. First one is the classic LLD round and second one is the machine coding round. You may get classic LLD round or machine coding round depending on the company. Some companies prefer machine coding round and some companies take classic LLD round. In classic LLD round, you will only be expected to draw UML diagrams, write different classes and relationships between them and you will have to list out the methods in each of the classes but you will not be expected to implement each and every method in all the classes in classic LLD round. But in machine coding round you will have to write the code for the entire application from scratch 
and you will be given some test cases your code should run on the given test cases so machine coding round is somewhat more difficult than the classic ld round now talking about resources for learning oops concept you can refer java t point website or head source object oriented analysis and design book you can also refer these youtube videos for learning about oops concept if you are a fresher then beside these oops concept you should definitely know about computer fundamentals like bbms operating system and computer networks you will be expected to know about these things and in one of the interview round you can get questions from these so for learning about these things you can refer a book by galvin or you can follow these youtube videos now for learning about solid principles and design patterns there are two books first one is the design patterns elements of reusable object oriented software in this book you will get a catalog of 23 different design patterns you will get to know when these patterns are used what are the consequences of using these patterns and how you can use different patterns together second book is the head first design pattern this is a very popular book which has explained some of the most important design patterns with the help of examples so this book is more easy to read if you have time you can definitely check out both of these books you can also follow some youtube channels for learning about these design patterns here are the list of all the youtube channels from where you can learn now learning design patterns without implementing them is of no use so there are some set of standard questions which you can practice to know about how these design patterns are implemented in real life application and how these applications are built first resource is the low level design primer this is a github repository which contains a list of many different standard problems on low level design and you will also get video solutions for each of these problems second you can also follow youtube videos in which the standard problem and the solutions are explained now moving on to the next round which is high level design round in this round you will be expected to design the entire architecture of a large scalable system you will be asked question like design the architecture for a video streaming service like youtube if you are a fresher then you are not expected to know about high level designs so you are free to skip this round this round is specially for mid to senior level engineers if you have experience of 3 to 4 years and you are appearing for any interview then you can expect this round but even if you are a fresher and want to learn about system design then here are the resources first resource is the system design primer github repo here you will learn about fundamentals and also you will get designs of some large applications second one is grokking the system design interview here you will learn how these large applications are designed third one is obviously youtube you can follow these channels and learn about high level design moving to the next round which is the hiring manager round whether you are a fresher or a experienced software engineer you will definitely get this round if you are interviewing for a product based mncs in this round you will be expected to tell about your previous work experience and you can also ask questions about the project and the team for which you are giving the interview it is very difficult to tell what exactly will be asked in this round because it depends from company to company and project to project but in general i am telling you few points which the interviewer will be looking in you first one is the ownership of the project the interviewer will be interested to know if you can handle a project all by yourself from ideation to the implementation second collaboration he would be interested to know about your projects in the past in which you got the opportunity to work with multiple teams in your company and if you had conflicts how did you handle the situation third one is decision making he would be interested to know about some of the problems which you have faced in the past and if those solutions had multiple solution with different trade offs how did you choose one solution over the other so these are some of the general things which are asked in hiring manager round now moving on to the next round which is the last round behavioral interview in this behavioral interview you will be asked questions like tell me about a time when you failed at something so basically in this round you will have to answer questions based on a standard star method star stands for situation task action and result 
to answer questions in this round first you will have to tell more about your situation to the interviewer just set up the context then tell about what were the possible outcomes and what were the challenges which you faced then tell what was your approach and then tell about the final outcome prepare for this round you can find a list of questions online and prepare your story beforehand based on your experience using the star method i hope this video helped you to know about the coding interview process and get you started with the right resources if this video was helpful to you please like the video share and subscribe to my channel to get more insightful content feel free to drop any questions or topics which you would like to get covered in the comments below best of luck for your coding interview preparation and see you in the next video